following the release of its self-developed operating system Harmony OS. Huawei appears to be rising up its incursion into the field of lithography machines, which are critical in chip production. This appears to be further evidence of the Chinese telecom giant's objective to develop a complete industry chain in order to survive in the face of the United States crackdown. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at how Huawei's operations will perform after its entry into the photonic chip. So, let's dive deep into this video. RS Laser Optical Electronics Technology Corporation, one of the three core technologies of lithography machines, recently received an investment of 82 million yuan, which is approximately $12.8 million from Hubble Technology Investment, a fully owned subsidiary of Huawei. As a result of the investment, Hubble Technology Investment has become the seventh largest stakeholder in the company. Founded in April of this year, Huawei's investment arm has so far invested in the company. Founded in April of this year, Huawei's investment arm has so far invested in 28 semiconductor-related companies, including EpiWorld International Corporation, 9Q, North Ocean Photonics, and Zonglan Electronic Technology Corporation, among others. Analog chips, power chips, artificial intelligence chips, silicon carbide materials, automotive communication chips, and connectors are all included in this arena of investment speculation. Huawei's approach is primarily aimed to close loopholes and improve weaknesses caused by U.S. limitations, while also assisting firms with high recognition in their efforts to generate higher quality products through investment in research and development. As a result, China's reliance on specific countries and firms in the global semiconductor sector must be reduced in an interview with the Global Times on Sunday, a seasoned telecom industry expert, Fu Liang stated that high-quality goods can be used in a variety of other fields. In a recent interview with the Global Times, one of Huawei's closest allies stated that the company has been supposed to depend on domestic wafer foundries to fabricate 14 and 20 nanometer chips. Because the United States government has barred all manufacturers capable of fabricating 7 nanometer chips from supplying the company, Xiang Ligan, Director General of the Beijing-based Information Consumption Alliance, said that Huawei was investing in its strategic resources, which would have a significant impact on the company's development strategy. Huawei is actually investing in its strategic resources, which will have a significant impact on the company's development strategy as it wants to make a big difference in lithography. Due to the fact that they are required for the chip manufacturing process, the scarcity of lithography machines is a significant issue. Huawei's production and client volume will suffer if these types of equipment are not installed, according to Xi'an. The development of lithography machines is critical to the development of the chip industry's ecosystem. According to analysts, an RS Laser Optical Electronics independently developed and designed the first domestic high-energy excimer laser, breaking the long-standing monopoly of foreign manufacturers. As Fu explains, lithography machines and light sources affect the degree of precision of chips. However, the worldwide supply of these components is still dominated by a small number of companies, so Huawei's investment in this field is intended to lessen its reliance on foreign companies. The country does, in fact, have lithography machines. However, the main challenge is resolving concerns relating to the development of light sources in order to achieve an upgrade in UV technology for the purpose of producing more refined chips, according to Xi'an. As reported by Jilin TV, Huawei has made a significant step forward and bravely went forward in the face of the US chip embargo by beginning research in a different field, namely photonic chips. Its performance is superior to that of existing chips, and it does not necessitate the use of lithography machines manufactured by European and American businesses as do existing chips. As a result, the Dutch media reacted to this, stating that the US lithography machine blockade is useless and that China may not require this equipment in the future to create high-end chips. At the same time, this effort by Huawei was given considerable attention by the Russian media. In their opinion, China's businesses were underestimating their own strength and drive. They believe that a trade embargo would simply serve to raise more challenges from Chinese businesses. A series of sanctions targeting Chinese semiconductor and communication technology businesses has been in the works for some time. Companies on the blacklist, which includes the Dutch ASML firm, 
which manufactures lithography machines, are not permitted to sell goods or technologies to businesses outside of Europe or the United States. Huawei is one of the companies that has suffered as a result of these rules. In order to succeed, the corporation must rely largely on high-end semiconductors manufactured in Europe and the United States. In contrast, companies that own these chips are not permitted to conduct business with Huawei in the United States. In order to overcome this constraint, Huawei made a significant investment and began developing photonic chips in earnest. The majority of people that don't understand about chips have never heard of them before. In fact, there are many different subfields within the semiconductor business to choose from. Chips, as we are all familiar with them, are a subset of the field of integrated circuits. Optical electronics is a field in which a photonic chip is employed. Although the latter is not widely known, the chip's performance is significantly superior to that of conventional integrated circuits. The significance of the photonic chip lies in its transmission performance, which has the potential to significantly increase the overall efficiency of electrical devices. When comparing photonic chips to standard silicon chips, the advantages of photonic chips are immediately apparent. Using the complete photonic chip, data transmission speeds can reach an incredible 300 gigabytes per second which is 10 to 50 times faster than the data transmission speeds of contemporary electronic chips. Not only that, but the photonic chip has potential to free us from the constraints of Moore's law in the future. The 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer method has been adopted by the present generation of electronic chips, but it will become increasingly difficult to rely on new technology to increase the efficiency and energy consumption of the chips in the future. It is expected that existing chip technology would experience a bottleneck once the limit has been reached. The research on integrated circuits has now reached a point of diminishing returns and is subject to physical constraints. The 2 nanometer field is where it becomes practically impossible to manufacture a smaller chip once the chip has reached it. Even if it is successful, there is no guarantee that its overall performance will be significantly better as a result of it. Photonic chips as a whole are the wave of the future for the semiconductor industry. The most important thing to remember is that the study in this sector has only recently begun, and neither European nor American governments have yet established a monopoly in the field. If China takes the initiative in breaking through the commercial application of photonic chips, it will be able to reverse its existing competitive disadvantage. Furthermore, the chip manufacturing technique used today is radically different from previous processes. It is completely unnecessary to use a lithography machine. In addition, we'll be employing cutting-edge manufacturing technology. The Dutch media claims to have uncovered the most vital spot and that the United States lithography machine embargo will soon be rendered ineffective. It's possible that we won't need these lithography machines at all in the future. The Russian media came to the same conclusion, namely that as technology advances at an exponential rate, the formal significance of US sanctions will outweigh their practical impact. The reason behind this is that the United States has grossly overestimated the research and development capability of Chinese enterprises. The United States wants to take advantage of this chance to entirely prevent the potential of China from entering the high-end semiconductor business in the near future. Interestingly. It gives Chinese enterprises the confidence to overcome technical challenges, which was unexpected. For the time being, Huawei has made the appropriate step in committing to the most cutting-edge chip technology research and development. China's companies have also developed another powerful weapon in addition to their layout of photonic chip research, namely carbon-based chips, or more precisely, graphene chips. Once this chip has been successfully constructed, it will completely rewrite the history of semiconductor creation in general. The Chinese Academy of Sciences scientists have achieved stunning breakthroughs in this sector after more than a decade of intensive research and development. Graphing wafers made from the first batch have been taken offline, and finished products have been exhibited to the public, exhibiting the level of scientific study achieved by the Chinese government. People both in the United States and overseas have commended you on your accomplishment. China is not the only country researching graphene chips in the world, but it is one of the few that can create high-quality wafers in sufficient quantities. Because of the development of these wafers, 
China has jumped ahead of many other countries on this track and is projected to establish technological superiority in this field in the near future. Overall, the current state of the chip industry is not disastrous, and China has put in place photonic chips and graphing chips to ensure that it is well prepared for the future. So, what are your thoughts in this video? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like this video, so that it encourages us to bring you more amazing and interesting videos every day. That said, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.